Thank you for receiving us. As you are aware, we were a delegation led by our minister, which visited several countries to learn about higher education. We have um, our chairman who is going to give the briefing. The chairman is Professor Nyagura. He will brief you. Professor Thank Nyagura. You. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, members of the press. Uh, it is my pleasure to give you a briefing of our very successful visit that we had. The visit was very fruitful. We visited uh, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, India, Cuba, and uh, Brazil. The main purpose of the mission was to observe, to learn, the experiences some of the leading universities in these countries uh, have acquired over a period. And the thrust of our visit was focusing on technology, or broadly speaking on STEM, science and technology, and engineering. We wanted to confirm that the initiatives that we are undertaking in this country are in line with the initiatives taking place in other countries, and in particular the Asian countries, which are becoming an economic force, you know, to reckon with. And it is quite clear that uh, industrialization and modernization of a society has to be driven by STEM, science, technology, and engineering in particular. And we identified a number of interesting things. Some of them have confirmed the initiatives we are undertaking right now here in our universities. We also found other interesting initiatives that we think we need to uh, adopt and, you know, put into our context as, you know, Zimbabwean universities. The way forward is for us to transform higher education so that it is able to contribute towards industrialization and modernization of the society. Universities have to be centers of incubation of future businesses, future industries, and that means we are translating our research via innovation into technological solutions and then, of course, into enterprises. And the trust we are going to have will be to ensure that we have startups of enterprises in universities which will then be handed over to industry to upscale and then, you know, have mass production, you know, of uh, things. One, I think, has to realize that um, the higher education has been moving on, uh, expanding, developing, but we are all convinced that uh, at this, you know, moment, which is the opportune moment that we have, we will have our ministry which focuses on policy defining a new national agenda for higher education. And that, I think, is very exciting. We are all committed to contributing and playing our part in terms of uh, contributing to national development via applied research translating the ideas and discoveries and new services into technological solutions that will empower our country to be competitive regionally, in, uh, continentally, and you know, internationally. I think in brief, that is you know, what we can say about now. We have also formed a task force which is going to drive this initiative and that is composed of six members, uh, including myself, Professor Zobo, VC of Great Zimbabwe University, Professor Furusa of uh, the Vice Chancellor of Africa University, Professor Mwenje of uh, Bindura University of Science and Education, Professor Kuipa of Lupan State University, um, and Engineer Kankamwe, the Vice Chancellor of Harare Institute of Technology. You can see the composition that has been uh, appointed 
by the vice chancellors that it is uh, reflective of the seriousness that we have to undertake, you know, the business. I think for now that is the, you know, briefing that we'll give you. We are going to give you details within the next few days once we have consolidated and concretized the activities we are going to undertake in our efforts to contribute to national you know, development of this country. I thank you very much. Thank you. If there, we will give you a chance to ask a few questions, if you have any questions. Yes. <coughs> from, from your visit, I think you have learned a lot of things. What is the difference between us and the, uh, the universities you visited from India? What, where is the gap? I wouldn't say, you know, there are gaps. It would be an issue of intensification of, uh, you know, uh, research activities, translation of the research uh, through innovation into products, services, and, you know, new technologies. That, wa that is probably what one could say is, you know, the difference. In terms of uh, the academic, you know, activities, these are almost universal. And so you wouldn't really find, you know, much. If you are training doctors here, they are training doctors there. The curriculum structure is very similar. Uh, and, and so it is, becomes an issue of intensification uh, of what we are doing versus what they are doing, you know, in these countries that we visited. research. Research, obviously, they have uh, generous funding uh, <coughs> because of the context in which they are. And th these will be issues we are going to uh, discuss in detail and then, you know, engage our ministry to see ways of uh, financing research. But obviously, we are thinking much more globally in terms of research. We will have, you know, partners that we are going to work with who have uh, indicated they're prepared to avail lots of monies to do applied research, which are, which are intended, you know, to provide solutions to challenges that, you know, the society is facing. We will also have, you know, donors. Uh, we will also ourselves, you know, make a contribution to serious research in order for us to attain you know, the things we have uh, focused on and we have decided are the things that will catalyze, you know, the uh, revitalization of the economy through, you know, startups uh, as we incubate, you know, uh, current and future industries of this country. Well, I don't see you. any other end. Thank you very much, as yes. our chairman has said. We will contact you to, brief, to give you a detailed briefing once we have concretized our, our visit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.